Welcome to Calculator Corner, where I work to help you learn how to use your TI-84 graphing calculator. Despite its size and numerous buttons, the TI-84 is a great tool and easy to use. I've been using TI-84 calculators in my classroom for many years, and they've been pretty durable. I haven't had a student accidentally erase the operating system on one yet, so don't be afraid to explore the menus and the features of the calculator. In this segment, we'll start by getting acquainted with frequently used keys on the keyboard, adjusting basic settings, and reviewing preferences for your calculator. Let's start with the keys. The number keys are in the lower center. They're a creamy color. The basic arithmetic functions, add, subtract, multiply, and divide, are to the right of the number keys in a pale gray color. Below those is the enter key on the bottom right. This functions as an equal sign. Clear is located above the basic functions. This key either clears the entire line you're currently typing or clears the entire screen. Once you clear the screen, though, you can't go back. Other keys of interest are the blue second function key in the upper left. This is basically a shift key. It allows you to access the functions that appear above the other keys in blue. The green alpha key is located directly below the second function key, and it provides access to the letters and symbols that appear above the keys in white. At the top right of the keyboard is where you will find the arrow keys. While you won't generally need the arrow keys to perform operations, they're extremely useful when graphing, using matrices, and navigating menus. We're going to use them today to adjust the screen contrast and to navigate preferences. Another key that's extremely useful is the delete key, located on the top row to the left of the arrows. Its purpose is pretty self-explanatory. It allows you to delete items when you type something incorrectly. The last key for today is the mode key, located next to the blue second function key. The mode key allows us to change the basic preferences for the calculator, such as whether you want decimal answers to have a floating decimal or a fixed decimal, if you want angle measures to appear in degrees or radians, how graphs will appear, and to set the calendar and the clock. To get started, you need to turn the calculator on. The on button is located in the lower left-hand corner. This also functions as the off button. Off is the second function for this key. It appears in blue right above the key. If there is text on the screen when you turn the calculator on, just hit the clear button once to clear the screen. To begin, let's adjust the contrast on the screen to make it easy to read. To adjust the contrast, press the second button, then hold the up arrow to darken the screen or the down arrow to lighten the screen. Once you're happy with the contrast, release the arrow key. Next, let's visit mode to review preferences for the calculator. Generally, I leave my preferences in the factory default settings, but you may choose to change the settings, so you need to know where to find them. To exit mode, we're going to use quit, which is the second function of mode. So we tap the blue second function key and then the mode key. This returns us to our normal screen. Just a quick review of what we've learned about our TI-84 graphing calculators today. We've located the number keys, the basic arithmetic functions, the enter key, arrows, the second function, the alpha key, the delete, the mode, and the on-off key. And we've adjusted the contrast on our screen and we've reviewed our preferences. Spend some time this week using your calculator for computations. The more familiar you are with the location of the keys, the easier it will become. Join me next week to explore the math menu on the TI-84 graphing calculator. Happy calculating!